this is my android tablet and this is windows 10 running on the same tablet completely offline being emulated natively so guys to get started for today's video we'll be using a windows emulator for android which is known as limbo x86 in today's video i'll be talking about how is it actually possible and if it is worth it or not you guys can see i am completely offline if you guys know about windows emulation then you guys know that limbo is a qemu based windows emulator for android devices which is capable of emulating virtual machines natively completely offline and online for today's video we'll be using the last available version of limbo emulator which is the version 6.0.1 it hasn't been updated since the past three years but still it is capable of running virtual machines like windows 10 or even windows 11. to start off you'll need to add the x86 version of limbo emulator 6.0.1 on your android device once that's done simply launch it and afterwards tap on i acknowledge afterwards tap on ok and then enable check updates on startup and tap on the ok button once that has been done you'll be able to see the ui of the limbo pc emulator and in today's video we'll be adding the windows 10 virtual machine inside the simulator and running it natively to get started what you'll need to do is tap on machine after simply tap on new here you can give it any name for example windows 10 after simply tap on create once that has been done make sure to tap anywhere and you'll go back so you don't need to select any machine we'll be adding our virtual machine manually once that has been done in terms of user interface make sure that the display mode is set to hdl after scroll down to the board section this is where the most important settings are if you don't apply the best settings your windows 10 will not work on your android device so in terms of machine type make sure to set it to pc cpu model should be set as core to duo you guys can see there are a lot of processors but we'll be going with core to duo once that has been done make sure to set the cpu cores as 8 if you have a hand android device it will work great make sure to untick the option known as disable tsc so that our windows container will boot once that has been done we'll be adding ram for our virtual machine now this completely depends upon the amount of ram which you have on your android device this android tablet has 12 gb of ram so i can go as high as 4 to 6 gb but for today's video we'll go somewhere around 5 gb make Make sure to enable the MTT CG option as it will provide you with better FPS. Afterwards, scroll down until you find the disk section. Now, this is the most important step where we'll be importing our Windows 10 virtual machine inside the simulator. So, make sure to tap on hard disk A. Afterwards, tap on open and select the Windows 10 QCOW2 bootable virtual machine. Once you select it, as you guys can see, it will show Windows 10 Enterprise, uh, the bootable virtual machine which I have imported on my Android device and selected inside the Limbo x86 PC emulator. Now, I won't be able to tell you guys due to YouTube reasons. Obviously, I can't tell you about the source but you guys will need to do your own research i am just showing you guys the setup and overview and review of this virtual machine make sure to add the windows 10 qcow2 once that has been done go to the boot section and here make sure to choose from hard disk afterwards scroll down in terms of video card make sure that it is selected as vmware as it will provide better video graphics once that has been done you can choose the audio card as adlib or even all so we'll go with all once that has been done go to network if you want internet connection select user afterwards tap on ok and that's about it guys we have applied the best settings and successfully set up the windows 10 virtual machine on our android device all that we'll do is simply tap on the play button after a tap on don't allow you guys will see an interface like this and within few seconds you'll be able to see the windows boot up screen this is the proof that this method is fully functional and here we have the windows loading boot up screen animation it will take some time you'll need to be patient for emulating windows 10 on your android device using the limbo pc emulator this process might take anywhere from 10 minutes minutes to 20 30 minutes or even an hour if you have low-end android devices so make sure to be patient but in most cases depending on the virtual machine that you are using for me i think it will probably take around five minutes to boot so once we have the windows boot animation it will show us the logging in page right here we have the windows lock screen now you can simply use the touch screen button and as you guys can see we are being welcomed to our virtual machine now this is where it takes most amount of time to load this virtual machine again as i mentioned before depending on your device it may take five minutes or it might even take an hour while it is being loaded i'll just go ahead and swipe back and towards the top right corner you will see the display section you can increase the refresh rate from here if your device has more than 60 hertz refresh rate you can also change the volume you also get the keyboard as well as mouse support where you can enable trackpad or even touch screen so you'll keep everything as default we also get zoom in option where it will enable full screen but if we go back we can tap on these three lines you get even more options such as key mapper reset shutdown view log and much more you can also add attach removable disk storage etc but for now let's just wait until our virtual machine has started and here we go guys as you can see our windows 10 virtual machine has successfully started on our android tablet so it didn't take long 
at all it just took me about 2 minutes and you will need to wait until everything has loaded properly. So just be patient just wait for 2 to 3 minutes afterwards you can start exploring your windows virtual machine by tapping on the windows logo as you guys can see the start menu. Once you tap on it you will need to wait for few seconds and wait until everything has been initialized including the microsoft store which is present in this windows 10. So here we go our start menu has finally been loaded you guys can see there is a bit of delay because we are emulating windows 10 natively on our android device this shouldn't be possible but this is what's being done i'll just go ahead and launch microsoft store by tapping on it and as we have internet connection support let's wait for a few seconds to see if the microsoft store starts there we go we have the boot up screen of microsoft store let's see if it gets initialized or not now right here we have an error in microsoft store that is because this is an old version of microsoft store so we'll need to update it before getting started let's wait for a few seconds and while that's being done we'll make sure to open the file explorer of windows 10 and explore our pc a bit more you guys might have questions can we run games can we run apps such as photoshop adobe express or whatever you might think let me be honest with you guys this is very unstable as of now because as i showed you guys limbo emulator hasn't been updated in a very long time and that's why you will need lot of patience if you even want to boot a virtual machine on your android device you will need at least snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor or above along with that at least 8 gb of ram and that's about it but you guys can see there is lot of time for loading and it is slow overall so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video do let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to test out some apps and games inside this emulator i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye